saludos han de darse. In most cases, we consider ourselves pillars of strength until tragedy changes our lives. No one knows this better than our very own field reporter, Mara Sanchez. How many kids have dreamed of running away and joining the circus? Well, today we were part of that dream. From Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus, I'm Mara Sanchez. Thanks for watching. Sitting in this classic 1956 Thunderbird brings us back to simpler times when people would meet at the town square with family and friends to dance under the stars. I once worked as a reporter a for Transit News. The tragedy of 9-11 took my job and the life of my boyfriend, who also worked at the World Trade Center. It devastated my life and was certainly one of America's sad moments. But how did it impact new immigrants? What did the World Trade Center represent for the tourists and new arrivals who came to the Big Apple hoping to see the symbols of liberty and economic freedom? Duda Panteado, an international artist from Brazil who now lives in Jersey City, gives us a fine example. Here we see him wheeling a sculpture down the busy streets of New York and into the World Trade Center. Duda, a multi-talented artist, occasionally uses the bones of animals as a symbol of strength because they are the building blocks of intelligent life forms. By being videotaped with his sculpture at the World Trade Center, he hoped to create a video work of art. Little did he know that this video would become one of the last images of the World Trade Center as it once stood. Soon after the tragedy of 9-11, Duda re-edited his video with the voice of a survivor who described his ordeal and agony during a time of crisis and hysteria created by terrorism. Everybody was just looking up. And all of a sudden, I saw this, this man fly out of the 70th floor. And I looked up like that, and I just couldn't believe that I was seeing a man jump from up there for the first time in my life. And I thought it was a, like, like a movie. Like it, was, it wasn't real, it was a dream or something. And I saw that man hit the floor on the other side of 100, 100 Liberty. And I said, oh my God, you know, and I began to pray. And I said, oh God, you know, do a miracle here, you know. I said, God, do something, you know. I was asking God to intervene. So in that moment, it was like 10 o'clock. So I looked at my watch, and I looked up it up again, and then a minute later, that's when the building started coming down. It started going. It started making all that noise with metal and, and glass coming down. And then I said to myself, oh my God, I saw everybody running that way, people running this way. And I said, oh my God, so I turned around, there was a big monument, like seven, eight feet by, maybe by four feet and a half. And I said, if I hide myself behind that thing and, and throw myself on the floor, I'm gonna be safe or whatever comes down. So I went and laid down like that, facing north. And when I went on the floor, I saw all this mist, this black, black smoke, dark as this jacket right here. You couldn't see nothing. I mean, nothing. And I found the floor, and I was coughing, and I put my, my, my head inside my, 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 my shirt so I could breathe better. And then I said to myself, you know what? If I stay here a little longer, I think I'm gonna get killed. So I think I better get up and run. So when I went to get up and run, I was gonna run east. And I said, wait a minute, I think I better go back down again because if I run, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna hit me, whatever. And I said, oh God, Jesus, I ask you, oh God, in Jesus' name, please protect me, oh God. And I went, up, I went to the floor again. And I said, you know what, if I stay here, maybe the elbow, the elbow is gonna come down and I'm really gonna get hit. So I got up and, 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 I, and I turned towards my back and I saw the scuffles, you know, people that, that pull the buildings to, to clean the buildings. I saw that and I, they, they, they have lights on the bottom. And I saw the lights like that, straight down, a whole bunch of lights. And then I, I heard a voice saying, follow me, follow my voice, follow my voice. And I went, wow, thank you, Jesus, you know? And I said, oh God, thank you, Lord. And then I started running towards the guy. But at the meantime, when I was running towards the guy, I saw another man staggering. He was saying, help me, help me. And I grabbed the man by the hand and I pulled him with me uh, under, the, uh, under the scuffle. And then I told the man, just get out of here and run. So I started running right down the block and I met a, a right on Nassau Street and I went inside the, the, the Federal Reserve. And that's why, you know, I, I was safe from there. I was safe from, 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 uh, from danger and stuff like that. Emotionally driven by the events of 9-11, Duda set out to create a memorial. Again, he turned to the use of bones as symbols in a piece called Beautiful Ashes. 
It's basically reconstruction of the Guernica. See, Guernica talks about the, the horror of mankind, and, and the painting that Pablo Picasso did in 1937 later on becomes the symbol of, of mankind terror. I use that, that, that symbolic um, uh, painting to recreate and to make us reflect and one thought, when, when the turn of the millennium happens, we think about two things. Maybe the world is gonna end, or maybe finally we're gonna be in everybody happy, and we're gonna find common ground. I, neither do one or the other happen. Um, what happened was uh, the, 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 the World Trade Center is a mark of a new way of war, the war of terror, and uh, the war of terrorism where there is no rules. Uh, which really boils down to mankind, a new level of mankind insensitivity for each other. So what you see, what you see in this painting is um, you see Christ being crucified and, um, and uh, pushed to the corner and uh, the real values, spiritual values of perhaps the world uh, and also America being, um, being shaken. Uh, and what you see is exactly, this paint is exactly a portrait of that moment while the towers fell down. So you see people running with despair and running and reaching out to, to the sky and looking for God. And, um, and in the center of the piece, you see the two people from different cultures and different, different walks meeting each other at the center and almost touching each other's hands. And it's almost there's, there's a thought behind that, what do we do from now? And um, what you see, you see no longer the towers there, you see the eyes of God looking down, and you see the fish in the corner, all the way in the top, who symbolize Christ, uh, throwing up bones uh, and to the floor and resurrecting a, a generation who will look for, for looking for, for the truth, a generation who will look to build a better society to look for, for um, to do what's right. So what you have in the center of this painting is the challenge and the conflict of the millennium. In the turn of the millennium where people are looking for globalizations and find, uh, to, to find new friends and to extend countries' boundaries, would you mankind be able to tolerate each other? Would mankind to be able to um, touch each other to the message of love, hope, and faith? instead killing and destruction. That's the challenge who, um, who is a deep question in the turn of the millennium. The artwork gained international recognition, but that's not all. When the city of Jersey City was given a piece of ironwork from the World Trade Center, it was Duda who was asked to create a memorial out of the structural remains that once supported the Twin Towers. The New York City needed to disperse all of the steel that, uh, that had been twisted and turned, if you will, uh, in New York, and they gave us a piece that, that uh, two pieces, they were huge. The things must have been about four or four, five feet tall, at least two inches thick. I mean, they weighed, they weighed tons. 